percent welcome to the review of the premier league action or what was left from the premier league action this weekend yeah it will not get prettier as we can see already five games on the weekend are cancelled omicron is wreaking havoc uh and there have been calls to actually make a break maybe even over christmas but you know i can see that uh, I, I can see two reasons not to do it. A, there is no general lockdown in England, uh, which makes it hard because uh, so the players who are tested at the ground, they can then go out and infect themselves other, elsewhere. So uh, you would actually need to put the players into lockdown, which is not really possible, I would argue. Um, and also, I know there's a big financial thing because unless you like skiing, there's not much happening sports-wise. Or if you watch American sports, uh, sports-wise, there's not much happening uh, during Christmas time. And so the Premier League with their uh, bang, 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 bang fixtures, that's a big TV draw at a time when many people are, um, you know, have the time to watch. So uh, in that sense, there's a financial loss too. So yeah, uh, and from what I hear, the big trouble is not necessarily the infections, but the vaccination status within the teams, which is wildly differing throughout all the teams. And then as soon as you are just a contact person, you have to go kind of in a personal lockdown, which then puts your squad in danger, blah, 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 blah. And it's a whole lot of mess. And I think at the moment, the team that's uh, definitely hit the hardest is Spurs, who I th this moment have already three games to make up. So I guess letting loose of that conference league might actually work in their favor in a way to maybe secure a Champions League spot uh, for the next season, which uh, they are not so bad in such a bad position at the, at, the, at the moment, as weird as this sounds. So yeah, I actually saw a little bit of that round, uh, especially yesterday. I enjoyed uh, the two games that were happening. Uh, I think the, the standout result in many ways were, of course, Manchester City 7-0 win over Leeds. Uh, just coming in there, rolling over uh, Leeds. We know are open, but at the moment Leeds don't seem to find any answers and don't bother anyone as well. So... Uh, it's a little bit worrying if you're a Leeds fan. I still have the feeling that they might just be all right because I think they're good enough. And yes, they also had some injuries uh, to deal with. But and everyone seems to have injuries and missing players these days. And what I hear Leeds' is a vaccination rate is actually quite good. So let's see. Uh, since I'm wearing Wolves, uh, a big win for them at Brighton. 1-0. Uh, they actually can score as well. Um, then uh, Palace Southampton didn't see much, it's 2-2. Uh, um, Arsenal's win over West Ham is also kind of um, impressive because, you know, uh, West Ham has been a team that has been up there and also challenging for the top four. Arsenal, we see that there might be something developing. And I think that result actually showed a little bit uh, more of that. I think it was an even game where Arsenal should have had a penalty in the first half for sure. Um, then Martinelli, uh, nicely played goal, um, gets the lead right after after having then they get a penalty, which I don't think was really a penalty. It was uh, the missed by Lacazette. However, I think what really then tipped the game into Arsenal's favor is the Tufel was sent off for that, which I honestly, it was a little bit of a harsh decision. And again, uh, I always find myself that if there's a top ref, uh, even top referees in England are not that great. And that's a little bit of a shame, to be honest. Uh, you see it frequently, even, even in Europe, if you have an English referee, there are always some weird decisions happening. And in the Premier League, I think uh, the Premier League is really marred by sometimes shoddy refereeing. In, in a way, more so than other leagues, I have the feeling. Uh, you know... I do watch quite a few and I have to say that for the standard that the Premier League proclaims and uh, rightfully has, the refereeing standard is kind of low. That's at least my impression. 
Uh, back to Arsenal, uh, they get then the winner through Smith Rowe, another nicely played goal. And I gotta say, uh, Arsenal definitely seems to have a shot at a top four spot. I mean, they are finding their way, as I said, I think in the last vi video, they might not win against the uh, big teams yet. However, they pick up reliably points against the small teams, which I think is a good foundation to build upon. Yes, you probably want to get rid of some of the old guys that you have in a squad. And we, yes, Obama Young was stripped of a captaincy. Uh, and I guess, I don't know, I don't think he's yet on his way out. But I think the signs are pointing that, yeah, maybe he is someone who you should not have that much anymore in your squad and maybe get some new blood in there. But um, slowly but surely, I think maybe next season Arsenal could already challenge for Champions League again if they don't do it already this year. I mean, at the moment they're tall top four, but with games in hand for others, they are actually not. So uh, it's just a mom momentary um, sit 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 situation. Uh, Chelsea also seem to get back in the Christmas funk. Yes, we have injuries, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but the Everton squad that they had had many that they played had many uh, players missing as well. Um, Chelsea actually started out quite well. I think the first 20 20, 20 minutes they totally Tom Dominic missed chances. And of course, uh, Jordan Pickford actually having a pretty good game uh, and keeping them in in the game. I think there was a pretty big chance. I think around the third, third if uh, Chelsea should have taken the lead. But I was, uh, and, and this was the game I mostly watched. Um, I was actually quite entertained by by this game because you you saw that uh, Everton is really coming here. Yes, defensively they are down and Chelsea is uh, probably deserving the lead. But uh, you always had the feeling that Everton uh, is came to play and gave them a good fight. So uh, in that sense, the balance was kind of in, in interesting. And if Jordan Pickford has a good day, makes for a good game. Uh, in the 70th, Mason Mount found the breakthrough at that uh, point. I thought, yeah, not only was the lead probably deserved for Chelsea, but that will actually see Chelsea go through and win. No, uh, Saul completely misses his uh, man of, of a free kick by Gordon. And Brentwaite in the 74th, just four minutes later, uh, gets an e e equalizer. And then a great header by Tiag, Tiago Silva saved by Pickford. So, um, Again, a disappointing result for Chelsea. We're kind of a little bit ta tailing off like last season. I just think that this season there's maybe a little bit more reason to be optimistic because I think the other teams might also get in their funk. Although Manchester City looks uh, positive, scary. Liverpool, um, also some uh, refereeing controversy there. Um, Liverpool largely the bad, better team. However, uh, counter attacks by Newcastle were actually dangerous and one, one, one of those in the end was uh, used by Shelby in the seventh to give Newcastle a lead. Uh, and then the big talking point, which uh, I'm afraid will give Newcastle an excuse that they shouldn't have. Um, the two new Newcastle players uh, kind of banged into each other, fell to, to the ground, I think, after a corner, corner kick. The referee didn't blow the whistle dead, so the play continues with the player on the ground, and Jota uses this to make it 1-1. One, one. Um, honestly, when you see a player lying in the, uh, in the with a potential head, head injury, to me, this needs to be called off. I do not blame Liverpool for that one. I do blame the referee. This is, again, bad refereeing. Um, and then, yeah, uh, um, after Mane chance to save Sal Salah, turns the game around at 25th. And then from that moment on, there was only one winner. Uh, Liverpool actually took took it easy. Thiago actually having one of those days. I think he was already uh, the culprit for the first goal uh, that they conceded and, uh, within a counter-attack and, and so on. Did not have his best game, but overall Liverpool better. And then with a wonderful shot by Alexander-Arnold they uh, make it a um, more proper scoreline in 3-1. But that shot, uh, right, hitting the ball so sweetly, hardly roll or rotates, goes in the internet. That's uh, the stuff of dreams in a way. So yeah, with these, as I said, at the moment, Arsenal are find themselves in the fourth spot. The top three remain the same, however, Chelsea falling a little bit, a little bit off. And uh, it seems to be at the moment a two-way race, but you know, if one of the other two are getting a fun, because last season around this, this time, Liverpool also seems like they're cruising two to a title and they're completely tail tail off. They usually hit it in January, Chelsea now in December, and let's see uh, what City will do. 
So, uh, but at the moment it seems to be a little bit more two-way than a three-way race, but I wouldn't call it either way. Uh, but I think the rest of the league is just fighting for the final uh, spot where it's kind of tight. Spurs having so many games in hand that you would think that Spurs, if they win it, and that will be hard because they have many made, made the grounds, uh, but if they, they, they win it, they actually would be in fourth place. So uh, that's also interesting. The first one they could win, not sure if they will, is uh, Spurs against Liverpool, uh, if it will be played. So uh, we have already five uh, games called off and the rest we, yeah, we, we just gotta, we just gotta, gotta see. Uh, but you know, we have all the big boys uh, playing, so at least that is something uh, nice and uh, outstanding fixture, I mean, name-wise. It's probably Spurs against Liverpool, um, that replay of the 19 Champions League final. So yeah, let's see how it will go forward with the Premier League and uh, games called off and COVID, blah, blah, blah. I honestly think uh, the decisions have to be taken out of the Premier League hands and there needs to be a general solution found. Um, I found it very bewildering that stadiums are still full when there's this crisis happening um, when everywhere else in Europe it kind of gets uh, restricted more and more. But hey... Um, every country with their own rules and you have to the government then there has to clean up their mess uh, afterwards that's what I <laughs> what I say so I I'm not living in England so I'm not gonna complain all too much about it because I only observe from the outside any case please drop a line if you want to add anything uh, below give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon bye Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell, so in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.